Chronicles of Enigma presents Time Travel Today we will be thinking about time travel. Not possible cases, but why it's theoretically possible and technically impossible at this time. Undoubtedly, time travel is one of the most prolific and compelling themes in science fiction literature and cinema. Countless films such as Terminator, Back to the Future, Twelve Monkeys, and X-Men Days of Future Past center their plots around protagonistics traveling back in time to alter the course of history and create a different future or present from their point of view. Time travel gives rise to paradoxical situations, such as encountering a younger version of oneself or inadvertently preventing one's own birth by killing one's parents before they're conceived. Nevertheless, there is another significant theoretical challenge that renders the creation of a time machine capable of movie-like feats highly improbable. Spatial Precision What is spatial precision? Spatial precision refers to the degree of accuracy or level of detail in a specifying the location or position of an object or event in space. Caleb Scharf, a renowned British astronomer, science writer, and director of Columbia Astrobiology Center, discussed this problem in a Scientific American article published some time ago. Scharf specializes in exoplanetary science and astrobiology and communicates scientific concepts in the general public. The exoplanetary science being focused on the study of planets orbiting other stars, aiming to comprehend their formation, properties, and histories, while also seeking to identify potentially habitable planets and detect signs of life. Scherf is the senior lecturer in the discipline of astronomy, Graduate School of Arts and Sciences for Columbia University, Director of Astrobiology, and Co-Director Habitable Planet Network. According to Scharf, let's assume that a technology capable of time travel has been invented. Transversing through time is only one aspect of the problem. With every temporal shift, there's always a corresponding shift in space that a hypothetical time machine must precisely calculate to ensure that the traveler exits the machine in the same location as they entered. In science fiction movies, the process of time travel is often portrayed as simple. The time traveler selects the desired date on a futuristic dashboard and the issue of their location is conveniently overlooked. This suggests that time travel and space travel are seen as distinct and disconnected concepts. As a result, viewers are left with the impression that time travel involves only jumping through time without physical movement through space. After exiting the time machine, the traveler magically appears in the same location as before. In actuality, even traveling back in time by just one month can present an unsolvable challenge when it comes to determining the correct spatial coordinates at the onset. This is because every point in space is continually and inevitably in motion within the vast expanse of the universe. To pinpoint the location of a point from a month ago, it is necessary to account for how it has shifted in relation to various reference systems. Initially, the Earth rotates on its axis and carries all its surface points with it, moving at a speed that is proportional to their respective latitudes. The highest velocity is observed on the equator, where the displacement can exceed 1,600 kilometers per hour. Therefore, if someone activates a time machine at a location on the equator just an hour before departure, that same spot would have moved over 1,600 kilometers to the west. Consequently, accurately arriving at the same point on Earth exactly one month earlier requires a complicated calculation that factors in even the slightest variations in the length of a day. Failing to pinpoint the correct arrival location in the past, even by a few kilometers, could lead to reappearing inside a mountain in the middle of the ocean or floating in the air. Solving the spatial problems of the time travel involves addressing two key factors. Firstly, the Earth's rotation needs to be accounted for. Secondly, the Earth's revolution around the Sun must also be considered. 
The Earth moves at an average speed of 110,000 kilometers an hour in its annual orbit, covering an arc of approximately 78 million kilometers in a month. To ensure accurate time travel, this shift must also take into consideration the varying orbital velocity of the Earth, according to Kepler's second law. Kepler's second law, also known as the Law of Equal Areas, states that an imaginary line joining a planet and the Sun sweeps out equal areas in equal time intervals, which means that a planet moves faster when it's closer to the Sun and slower when it's farther away. The calculation cannot simply rely on average speed, as the orbital velocity is higher when the Earth is closer to perihelion and lower when it's close to aphelion. Perihelion is the point in the orbit of a planet or other celestial object where it is closest to the Sun. Aphelion is the point in the orbit of a planet or other celestial object where it is farthest from the Sun. The calculation becomes more complex due to the slight variation of the eccentricity of the Earth's orbit over time, which affects both its shape and orbital speed. While going back a month in time would have a Negligible effect, attempting to time travel back to the age of the dinosaurs would present an almost insurmountable challenge. Over millions of years, the Earth's orbit has been subject to a complex set of gravitational influences that cannot be precisely reconstructed in reverse. As a result, a time machine runs the risk of missing the Earth's position entirely, leaving an unwary traveler stranded in interplanetary space. Spatial coordinates present further and more severe challenges as the Earth moves not only around the Sun but also together with the entire solar system around the galactic center. It occurs at a velocity of approximately 828,000 km per hour, meaning that in one month the Earth and the solar system as a whole shift almost 600 million kilometers in relation to the center of the Milky Way. Therefore, time travel back a month requires taking this shift into account as an error of just one part in 1,000 could result in missing the Earth by hundreds of thousands of miles. This is a likely error given the imprecise knowledge we have about the solar system's path around the galactic center. The Milky Way, along with the other galaxies in the local group, is hurling at a speed of 2.4 million kilometers per hour relative to the cosmic microwave background radiation, which permeates the universe in all directions at a temperature of about 3 degrees Kelvin. In one month, our galaxy moves approximately 1.7 billion kilometers in relation to this radiation, which can be considered an optimal reference system for determining what is stationary and what moves in the universe. Furthermore, it is essential to keep in mind that the universe is continuously expanding and the space between galaxies is growing at a rate of about 70 kilometers per megaparsec in every direction. To transport a time traveler back just a month into the past and return them to the same location on Earth, calculations of spatial coordinates must be accurate to within one part per trillion, an astonishing level of precision that is currently unachievable. Scharf suggests that this difficulty in spatial calculation could be the reason why beings from the future have not visited us. Overall, the complexity to travel through time may be possible for alien civilizations that have been in existence for a greater time with far superior technology than we can fathom at this time, with the resources we are familiar with. No known official cases of time travel exist at this time. If an alien civilization has the capability to travel through time, I do not think they would have any involvement with Earth.